Moving forward to Friday night, we have Stanford at Syracuse. Syracuse is an eight and a half point home favorite. And the over-under here is 57.5 points. It kicks off at 7.30 p.m. Eastern, of course, on Friday on ESPN. This is Stanford's first ACC game and also the first meeting between these two teams. And, of course, Stanford's being thrown to the fire because they are playing the vaunted JMA Wireless Dome. Now, I use vaunted a little loosely, but it is a weird place to play a game and some weird things have happened up there in northern New York. Both teams come off a bye week here, so they're both well-rested. They're in fairly good health. We don't have any major injuries to report here. And Syracuse, 2-0 and against the spread against the opening number, but just 1-1 and against the closing. They beat Ohio by 16 points, and that line closed at 17. Stanford is 2-0 and against the spread versus the closing number. Now, if we're looking at Stanford, the quarterback, Ashton Daniels, he's a fun watch. I like him. He has opportunities on the ground against the Syracuse defense. Uh, That Syracuse defense actually allowed 67 yards on six rushes and a pair of touchdowns to Haynes King and Georgia Tech the last time that they suited up and played football. And overall, the Orange are 100th in rush EPA allowed on uh, the season. Eh, Small sample size, but not a great output against the run so far. Now, outside of Daniels, No Stanford player has really got it going. Uh, Their lead back is 3.4 a carry. Uh, Another back is like 4.1 a carry. It's not a great rushing attack. And you know why? Stanford offensive line, still not very good. And they're going up against a guy named Fadil Diggs who transferred in from Texas A&M. He's one of the best pass rushers in the ACC and one of the top graded, honestly, right now in the nation through a couple of games. So Daniels can't take so long in the pocket. He likes to stand there and make something happen. I get it. But sometimes you got to throw the ball away or take off and go. It's the average time to throw is 3.1 seconds, one of the higher in the ACC so far. Now, uh, the Cardinal defense, still not very good. Uh, wasn't very good last year, isn't very good again this year so far. They're 99th in net EPA. And uh, Kyle McCord, they, he started the year off strong, so he has an opportunity against a porous defense that really couldn't do a whole lot to stop TCU, of course, losing late in that game. Syracuse, their defense defends what Stanford does well, and that is through the air. Now, they're forcing Stanford to do what they don't do well, and that's run. So I'm not picking Stanford an upset pick here to win. Um, But look, my play here is if college football uh, player props are available in your state, I know they're not available everywhere and becoming increasingly uh, less available. But I'm taking over Ashton Daniels' rushing prop, which is listed just 33 and a half yards. He's probably going to get it done on the ground in this game. But hop on over to our Discord server where you can connect with over 4,000 sports betting fans, get live updates in our college football channel, and join a sharp and very active community, especially this year where mid-September football is in full swing. And don't forget to subscribe to the Lions YouTube for weekly college football odds and betting videos all season long. And subscribe to us on your podcasting app of choice, be it Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, whatever you're using these days. And drop us a good review if you liked this breakdown here. But thank you so much, as always, for watching. I'm Brett Gibbons. We'll see you next time.